is it allowed for the sisters to post their images on social media? This matter of posting and images on the social media, this has become like a very, very uh, sensitive matter. For example, like we look at the social media, the most popular of them are Facebook and uh, Twitter, and uh, I believe there are many. But uh, as I have seen myself on a, uh, on a social media, what I have came to know that the, the worst that I would say the app that has been built on Android or an Apple, it's called, uh, I'm sure many of the women them are like familiar with that, it's called uh, TikTok. And uh, this app is like the uh, greatest fitna of uh, crime century. This has been going uh, too much into the countries like in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and I'm sure there are many uh, countries out there been using the app, apps like uh, TikTok, which is destroying our uh, young generation, like uh, especially for the sisters, because in the Quran Allah says uh, a Muslim woman has to observe a hijab, that even to draw the veils. Uh, on their faces up to up to their feet but if you look at the social medias and the Twitters and the most surprising thing is that uh, we look at our brothers and like they, they have a fathers and their brothers and I'm sure they have the husbands and they, it could be any relatives and this is very surprising they do not uh, stop their sisters or their wives or their mothers e even the older generations and even the young little children uh, doing an actions on a TikTok this is really like very disturbing when I came uh, along with a few videos but th this is very disturbing according to the hadith the prophet sallallahu said uh, this type of men are being called uh, the youth and uh, they will uh, not enter a Jannah because they are not been stopping their uh, daughters, sisters, wives, or it could be any woman of the house and they are not stopping that. So the question was being asked if it is allowed to uh, post the images of her sisters on her social medias. Well, it, it's a very straight answer. This is totally haram and uh, without any justifications. Because uh, we know that like many sisters um, who have been doing a nice lectures with their niqab on and uh, and the face is not being seen. You have to understand that when any Muslim sister is coming on a social media, there might be uh, thousands of uh, maybe millions of uh, non-mahram. Uh, looking at the female it could be a young age a little child or it could be a grown woman so we have to understand there's a millions of eyes uh, watching our sisters like that but this is really the responsibility of our brothers uh, at home they have to uh, they have to have a higher because one of the hadiths the prophet sallam, said if a person does not have a higher in his or her heart uh, from Allah. That's the number one. If he or she does not have a haya from Allah, he or she is free to do anything they want. So this is a similar case. If a sister or the brother has a haya, especially the sisters, if he has a haya from Allah, that Allah said in the Quran to observe a hijab, and the best of it is more recommended to observe a niqab. And but even be posting uh, regular images on a Facebook or the Twitter or or anywhere. This is still a haram action, and this is could be leading to a more fitna because we don't know like if a sister is posting an image by on the other side of the computer, what type of the person is looking at. He might have an evil eye, or um, he might have something a uh, shaitan is in mind in in his heart or what is intending to do. He has a uh, disgusting imaginations. It, it could be anything so so 
he is getting a sin of doing such an activity and having imagination or thinking like that but because he's getting the sin it is because of that sister who has been posting their images on our facebook that is attracting so many our brothers and uh, nobody can deny that a lot of uh, brothers get attracted from sisters and sisters get attracted from brothers so the rule doesn't even apply for our sisters it also applies uh, for the brother for an example if somebody is like uh, let's say a professor somebody is teaching uh, something important and it's in education or it could be anything they are allowed to do that and if a sister is a special she has a special education or she's a teacher or anything she's being particular in some field so she's totally permitted to uh to put her educational videos but she has to put her videos with the niqab with a proper hijab that no eye can no eyes can uh evil eyes can see her or nobody can have a bad intention let's say for example if somebody if there's a neighborhood we are living in a neighborhood there's someone who knows the sister very well and uh, that sister is posting an image images and that some type of brother he is being uh, like stalking on her and he knows where she live and uh, the things going on. and things goes from here further into into crime or it could be any violent it could behavior or somebody can get being aggressive and so there is no justification answers for that because the Quran says the woman should observe a hijab when she observe a hijab that means no one no stranger eyes can see her so she has to hide from herself so many sisters are being putting a lipstick on and they have a nice beautiful uh decoring her face nice makeup and they're doing a videos and uh also they're posting their uh images and videos online on social media that's totally around that's forgive forbidden and there's another topic i want to talk about that there's many people who have sent me a question about there are many sisters now this is something a very uh important topic uh, for those who are being called um, vloggers on our youtube there's uh hundreds maybe thousands of t sisters having uh vlog accounts and they've been teaching how to do the makeup and how to wear a hijab and even uh, home videos with their children with anything with their husbands and there's are many several types of questions that i received that the sisters who are running the vlogger vlogs and uh, they are teaching them makeup and how to wear hijab how to do the cooking and things like that when, uh, when, when it comes to the cooking the cooking is fine as long as uh, her face is not visible that's totally haram that's totally halal and it is totally permissible now there's two types of question number one the the ad sense from the google that these sisters on a youtube account when they receive the income is that income halal or not the answer is that income is not halal at all unless you have teaching something unless that sister is teaching something where, where the face is not visible that is totally permissible and that the the funds come from the google and the youtube earnings that is totally permissible but when the sister are teaching how to wear hijab and themselves they have eyebrows and they're putting lipstick on and they have very well maintained their faces and they come out of the youtube and doing the, they're doing a vlog just to to bring the more uh, viewers subscribers and because we, we know that like we have more subscribers and the more people coming in naturally uh, the more advertisement they will be able to get on the channel and the more people will be clicking on that they will be getting earning from that so this type of earning is haram and this is not halal at all and 
another type of question the sisters who have been teaching hijab and how to wear hijab and also the one uh, who's teaching a makeup and doing a home vlogging with the faces are visible that's even not permissible it's, it's totally haram so this is my request and there's a very very popular channels from uh, youtube from pakistan and uh, we see many sisters from especially from uh, from UK and from some of them I have seen on the USA and some of them Pakistan, India and I'm sure there are many countries. So so they have to understand something. Regardless you being very big popular in this world, you you justify yourself that it is okay, it is permissible. But you cannot justify this on the day of Kayama because this, there's no justification answers about that because the Quran strictly said the muslim sisters should observe hijab and the best it is more recommended to observe a niqab that is not gonna cause uh more fitna to the non-maharams and the strangers i think looking at the uh the videos and the commenting and uh and i i, I i'm sure there are many uh, brothers and sisters who are from pakistan especially and i do not want to name anyone but i mean i'm sure what i'm talking about there's a lot of sisters and husband and wives who has been making a vlogs this income is not halal because the sister is not supposed to be on the video or the image regardless even it's a social media with the youtube the earning is not a lot unless the sister is teaching something and her faith is not visible and second of all uh what is she teaching how to do the makeup that's out of question that that's uh, everything is totally falls into the haram category but if some sister is teaching something which is like very important and which is an educational and uh, which could become her uh said the kajaria she wants to do something good like for example she can uh teach about something about islam or something about uh, some sisters at home they can learn something to do at home and that can make their son uh, home make earnings so that is totally permissible so the things I have mentioned like a few points and I'm sure you'll be able to share this video so the sisters who are doing this there is no justifications about that and those brothers those husbands those fathers they are being called according to the Prophet they are called the youth and they will not smell a uh, Jannah because they are not stopping their wives, sisters, daughters, their mothers. They have to stop this.